In this video, I want to show you guys a operating system that is designed to delete your data. Yes, it is called Shred OS and it is a free and open source project or operating system. It is actually a small operating system based on Linux and it is designed to permanently delete your data from your storage device. And it is actually really useful. Let's say, for example, uh, you're selling your old storage device or giving it to someone, you can use this to permanently delete data from that storage device. Because as you guys know, you can actually recover deleted data from any storage device. There are softwares out there. So yeah, you should use this to permanently delete your data and then sell it or give it to someone if you're doing that. So this is the official GitHub page. You can go here. Uh, to download this and to learn more about this, how this thing works and uh, all that, okay? So this thing is only like 267 megabytes file. The operating system itself is like really lightweight and it just deletes your data permanently. That's it. So to download this again, you can go to their official website and from here you can download the ISO file you can see here. Okay. You can make a bootable USB drive of this thing just like you do with Windows or Linux. So it's a operating system. So let me actually give you guys a demo. So I have this USB drive here and I have a couple of, uh, you know, images here like this one. Okay. And I want to, you know, completely erase data from this. I've used this USB drive multiple times and there are multiple files written in this. So let's see if this can successfully erase everything from this USB drive. This is a 30 gigabytes of USB drive. Okay. So yeah, I'm actually going to use the VM for this. I have set up my USB drive to boot with the VM and I've also created the VM for Shred OS. Okay, you can use this on real hardware or virtual machine. It can be used either way. Okay, so I'm going to power this up. So you can see here, Shred OS booting. This is how it boots and it is uh, scanning for all the USB devices and your hard drives and everything. And you can see here, the second one, dev slash SDB, that is actually my USB drive that I have uh, linked in this virtual machine. Again, as I said, I can also use this on physical hardware, but it's easy for me to record this, so I'm uh, doing it in VM. The first drive is actually virtual hard disk that I created, uh, which isn't required, but I have this anyway. I can use arrow keys to select the drives, okay? The third one is actually the ISO file itself. So you can see it's 255 megabytes. And uh, here you need to identify which one is the drive that you're trying to delete. And at the bottom, we have multiple options like start deleting the data. Uh, we can select the method to delete and we can ping, verify, round, blanking, and config. We can also configure and all that. It looks complicated when you use this for the first time, but it's not that complicated, okay? Just use your arrow keys, identify which drive is the one that you're trying to delete, okay? And then you have to click on Shift and S to start wiping the data. You can uh, select which type of erasing method you're gonna use. Uh, by default, it is using the PRNG stream. I don't know what this does actually, <laughs> okay? So we have fill with zeros, uh, fill with ones, and all that different type of erasing methods. You may have to do research which one works the best, okay? So let's uh, say I wanna select the fill with zeros and I'm gonna hit space to select this. Now it's going to use the fill with zero method to wipe the data from my USB drive. Okay? So let's select that. You can see there is an arrow uh, to the left side and I'm going to just select the second one because that is the USB drive and I'm going to uh, press the shift and S to start wiping the data from the USB drive. Oh, first I need to select the drive using space. Okay, so you can see at the bottom it says space equal to select. So I'm gonna have to select that. So it writes there that it's gonna wipe that. Then I have to press the shift and S together, okay? Or uh, shift and then S after that. So I'm gonna do that. Now it's gonna completely wipe my USB drive and it's using one pass. So I don't know how good it will do. I think you can increase the passes. You can do up to three passes, I think. So it's a 30 gigabytes of 
a USB drive, and it's going to take time depending on how large the uh, storage device is. Okay, uh, even for 30 gigabytes, I think it's going to take some time. And after this, we are actually going to test whether it has successfully erased everything from the USB drive or not by using the uh, recovery software. Wow, it says remaining time, almost like 54 minutes. So let's just wait 50 minutes, I guess, 51 minutes actually. So see you guys after it is done erasing after exactly 50 minutes actually. <laughs> and you can also switch in between the different themes. It's been almost, yeah, 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just still waiting. So uh, let's try to switch the theme. We have dark, blank, blue. Uh, am I gonna break something? Let's let's see. B. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> got it. So this is like uh, the theme for this. So depending on the method you chose, I think it's gonna take time. Okay. It's doing one pass with zeros fill or fill with zeros, so it's taking forever. And this is a USB drive and it has slow uh, read and write speed. So it also depends on what type of storage device you're using. So if it was like uh, NVMe SSD or something, it would take less time, I guess. So it's doing like 28 megabytes per second, which is really slow and it's only 30 gigabytes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will be much faster for SSDs. Now I'll see you guys after 37 minutes. Okay, I got an error in VM. Wow, this is not looking good. I think somehow my USB drive got disconnected from the VM. I should have kept this window opened. I was doing something else. Don't ask me what. Let me see if this is actually erased. It should be erased because Oh, format the disk. Okay, I'm gonna have to format this. It's not completely wiped yet because uh, I got the error in VM. VM sucks, I guess. So I'm, I'm gonna try to, you know, get the data from this. I'm gonna do a deep scan and let's do the start recovery thingy and let's see if it finds anything, even though it's not completely erased because I got the error. I think it has filled a lot of the zeros already because it hasn't found anything yet, which is a good sign. I guess maybe at the end it might find something because uh, I think it was around 27 28 percent already done so just in case if you're wondering what this is uh, this is a GUI for uh, Microsoft's data recovery tool which is a terminal based data recovery you have to use the command prompt so this is a GUI made by some other company not Microsoft to recover the deleted files okay so this is basically like the hundred percent free data recovery software and this is actually really good I also did a dedicated video on this yep it still didn't find anything because I guess even though it didn't completely erased the disk yeah it, it worked okay it worked but make sure when you're doing this make sure that it 100% completes, okay? I got the error because I'm using the VM. Maybe that's the reason. So now, let me do a test here. So let's say I'm gonna put this image here, okay? So this is a USB drive, deleted, okay? It's gonna permanently delete this file from this USB drive. Now, I'm gonna run this, okay? Select my USB drive, let's do the deep scan. And uh, this time, it should be able to find that file. For sure and yeah uh, it found one file yeah that's it <laughs> okay you ready yeah because that's the only file we had after uh, we erased the disk uh, before that i had put two more files so basically it works okay it, it it actually works yeah this is actually useful if you wanna like uh you know, erase your disk completely. You don't even have to take my words, okay? Just go to the official GitHub page from here. You can learn more about it and all that, like different type of uh, erasing methods, like zero fills and all that. And there is some certificate type disk ensure report thingy that you can also get when you erase the disk. You get the PDF output once it's erased. So yeah. Uh, it's going to give you all the info. You can also fill your information, actually. Let me show you guys something here, okay? So if you click on C, config, 
he, here you can uh, enable and disable the PDF report after it's done wiping the data. Uh, it's going to give you the report whether it was successful or not. And if you're like organization or something, you can edit your uh, organization name, you know, add your names company's name or something okay so this is like really simple yet really powerful tool or should i say operating system that everyone should know about i mean you don't need this all the time okay but whenever again as i said the one use case that is in my head is the let's say you're selling your storage device or giving it to someone you should erase your data completely and then sell it or give it to someone and you already saw that you can recover deleted files from any storage device, even if you permanently delete it. So you need to permanently wipe your data with something like this, like Shred OS. This isn't, maybe this isn't the only option, but I think it is the best option because it's free and open source. Also really popular tool, or should I say again, operating system to erase your data. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comments section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.